Good morning Andy Forestine running here out in a stunningly warm Forestine already at half past eight in the morning and welcome back to week 16 nearly there of this sub 255 marathon training series and technically I'm a day late I do apologize but this is actually being recorded on Monday and uh, I have a bit of explaining to do as to again the lack of videos last week towards the end due to a bit of an injury um, and so today we're out doing our postponed long run but it's been tailored down a little bit because we are now 13 days away from the Newport half uh, Newport Marathon 2019 and we don't want to risk anything so today I have a two hour long run with two by 20 minutes it was two and a half hours with four by 20 minutes in um, but today as I said we just cut it down a bit to ensure fatigue levels aren't too high camp race day 13 days out we're starting to taper so today's episode is going to be slightly different today we're going to be doing the workout before I talk to you about the injury because I've only got a 15 minute warm up so just going to get the the 2 by 20 minutes done fingers crossed all being well and then from there I'll have a hopefully about an hour's or three quarters of an hour's plod around where I can talk to you about the injury uh, last week and it's going to be very honest very frank I'll tell you everything but first let's do the workout Okay, so we're just about to go. I'm actually going to do a 20 minute warm up um, because I completely miscalculated. Hello, Lux. Hello. What are you doing out here? Crazy. I miscalculated my uh, 15 minute warm up. And I want to do two perfect loops the same. So it's going to be 20 minutes and then we'll go. Sun cream running in my eyes. Oh, the joys. Okay, rep one done. I survived, the leg survived. Uh, promising pace, 621, 611, and then around the same. So, floating below marathon pace, which I'm quite happy with, but it is bloody hot. So anyway, one more rep to do, and we'll talk about this injury. There we go, second rep done and dusted and onto the cool down now. It's about 6.26, 6.11, same again at the end, we eight of a mile or whatever. So overall, <coughs> really happy. A uh, bit of a disappointment was that I had a cliff shot block jelly thing that I showed you guys last week. In between the two reps, because I wanted to practice having one in my mouth and quicker than race pace. I got a stitch halfway through, so it's a bit frustrating, but other than that, I'm not going to complain. Got uh, 15 minutes now to talk to you about this bloody injury. Okay, so this week has been an interesting week I'm talking about last week shall we say uh, Monday we had 40 minutes easy uh, and that was as it was Tuesday what did we have Tuesday we had something Tuesday I think it was oh gosh I can't remember what Tuesday was oh it was a um, I think it was like an hour at uh, the pace marathon pace 
and then Wednesday and that was M2 I think it was and all of these were with a gammy leg um, and to be honest with you I've had it I haven't had it as bad as this recent week but I've had niggles for the last three four weeks and it's been because in the beginning I had knots in my adductors and uh, I had tightness of, over the top of my knee and I was managing that really well um, I get knots in my adductors all the time they're a nightmare they hurt my calves quads and groin um, and uh, hamstrings I'm really good I can keep those pretty clear but your adapters are very hard to roll and uh, I've been suffering with those for the last four weeks but managing them and then last week things really ramped up Thursday I had a massage uh, from James's wife Lizzie which is amazing it got rid of a lot of the lumps in my adductors my adductors suddenly felt really good uh, but then I went out on my Thursday night run for my Mara Pinks and my hip and knee and groin just locked up just seized I could not I just couldn't turn over it really hurt it was really painful and I just had to call it after the third one so it's been a frustrating few days I haven't run um, I wanted to be sensible I didn't want to risk anything being this close to Newport and it's been mentally frustrating but I've dealt with it much better than I thought I would you know there are other races training doesn't go to waste ever and if you're not ready for one race just enter another one so I've had that mentality and that's been serving me really well is to not stress and panic and I've just been doing the good things like stretching, rolling, icing, ice baths every night for the last four days I'll have another one when I get back today just to allow for optimum recovery and from that perspective that has allowed me to come out today and uh, run really strong which I feel really really grateful for you have no idea every day I've been thinking to myself can I run a marathon with my leg in the way it is and every day the answer has been not a chance not even a half marathon not even a 10k at points today I can safely say that I could run a marathon on a peak level we're talking one or two out of ten and when I was getting up to full stride with zero couldn't even feel anything which is amazing it's only now when I'm going slow things are, uh, I can feel them. I'm talking one or two out of ten, which is fantastic. So I'm just going to keep things going, keep things moving, keep things rolling, stretching, and fingers crossed we can have a good taper. So I appreciate your patience with the video, it means a lot. Thank you so much for your support as always. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you're excited for the taper, share it with your friends. We're looking forward to seeing how we get on the mountain.